This is the question from Patel exercise 60, question 24. And uh, I'm going to prove these questions and use the result from this question to given a third way to proving the refraction property of an ellipse. Okay, in this question here, the equation of the ellipse is x squared on a squared plus y squared on b squared equals to 1. And uh, we have uh, two focus, S and S dash here. And we have a point on the ellipse, we call it P with coordinate X1 and Y1. And from that point, we have tangent and the normal. So I'm going to write the equation of the normals here, equation of normal. So it's a square y one x minus b square x one y is equals to a square minus b square x one y one. And this is the equation of normal, which is you can see is the line here. And this line is meeting the x axis at point G. So they ask you to proving PS over PS dash is equals to GS over GS dash. So how do we proving this? We going to finding the coordinate of G first by using the equation of the normal, which is here, I call equation one, to let y equal to zero to finding the coin of g okay so we have a square y one x will be equals to a square minus b square x one y one therefore the x is equals to a square minus b square over a square times by x one so this is going to be our x values of g. So I write coordinate of g would be equals to a square minus b square over a square times x1. And the y value, of course, is 0. So this is the first important thing. We get the coordinate of g. So now we're going to do the distance of the gs. is equals to a e a e is the coordinate of the s minus the coin of the g which is a square minus b square x1 over a square and i'm simplifying into a e minus a square e square x1 over a squared so how i'm going to get in these results simplified i'll quote this important formula from the definition of the ellipse we have this always and from here i have b square equals to a square minus a square e square so therefore, my a squared minus b squared is equals to a squared e squared. So this is the sentence I used to changing this into that. So I gonna box this one. It's important results. So then I'm continue for my gs. So therefore, your gs is equals to a e minus e square x one yeah and which is equals to uh, taking the e outside equals to a minus e x one okay so that's the first result gs i got gs and the next one i'm going to find in my ps do you remember the definition of ellipse is PS over PM 
is equal to E. That's the definition of the ellipse. So I'm going to box this again. So what is PM? PM is the distance to the from P. I draw this one is directrix ALE. So PM is the distance from P perpendicular to the directrix, meter directrix at M. So from this, I can find my PS is equal to E times PM, and your PM is equals to A over E minus X1. So then from here, I can say, therefore, my PS is equals to A minus EX1. Yes. Okay, so therefore, I have my GS is equals to EPS. As you can see, GS here and my PS here. So I get my results that. And I can say similarly, my GS dash is also equal to EPS dash. So these are the two results I have. So I'm going to prove in the question now. So I have PS over PS dash, it will be equals to EPS over EPS dash times E on top and the bottom and EPS equal to GS and the EPS dash equal to GS dash. So therefore, we proved PS over PS dash is equal to GS over GS dash. So that's proved. So that's the results from the exercise, but I'm going to change these results in the another way, which we are going to use in it proving my refraction properties. So I change it into GS over PS is equals to GS dash over PS dash. So this is the one I'm going to using to proving my refraction properties. Okay, let's do refraction property. So refraction property is proving the angle between the tangent and the two focal cord. They are equal inclined. So in, instead of proving these two angles equal, I'm going to first proving these two angles equal. If these two angles equal, and then because we have right angle here, tangent and normal, then we get 90 degrees minus these two angles, we get these two angles. That will be equal. So the first, I'm proving these two angles equal now. So then how do I prove these two angles equal? So I'm using the triangles here, using sine rule in triangle. PGS. I'm going to use sine rule. So GS over sine angle GPS is equals to PS over sine angle PGS. So therefore sine angle GPS is equals to GS over PS times sine angle PGS. So that's the first sentence I write in here. And then the similarly in another triangle PGS apostrophe. I have sine rule again, GS apostrophe over sine angle GPS apostrophe is equals to PS apostrophe over sine angle PGS apostrophe. So then therefore I have sine angle G 
p s apostrophe equals to g s apostrophe over p s apostrophe times sine angle p g s apostrophe and then in the these two triangle here we know the angle p g s apostrophe is equals to sine sine angle equal to sine 180 minus angle PGS which means is same as sine angle PGS so we got sine angle PGS apostrophe equal to sine angle PGS so then from this we can get this sentence and the D sentence they are exactly the same by using these results and using these results here so then from here then we can say therefore sine angle GPS will be equal to sine angle GPS apostrophe so and since both two angles are acute angle you can see they are less than 90 degrees because we know this angle is 90 degree here so these two angle must be less than 90 degrees so if the sine value equal then we can say angle GPS will be equal to angle GPS apostrophe okay and then since we know the other angle here the these two angle here is complementary to this angle so then therefore we can say these two angle equal after we proving these two angle equal so this is another way to prove refraction properties proof